Hey there, it's your boy Chili. Let's take a look at the homework for tutorial 16. Now the task was to draw a circle, a filled in solid circle. Uh, so you might say, I don't know how to do that. That sounds like a bunch of math bullshit. Well, let me tell you, it's going to be easy. So first off, let's let's go into some very simple definitions. What the, what the fuck is a circle anyways? How do you define a circle? Well, what you can say about a circle is... Uh, forget about pixels or anything, just think about general space. So a circle, all the points that are on a circle, let's not, let's not think about a filled circle here. We're going to think about just the, the outline of the circle, just the line drawing. Uh, now all the points on that line, they satisfy a, uh, a very simple condition. And that condition is they're all the same distance from some point, right? And we call that point the center of the circle. So every point on the circle is the same distance from the center, and that distance is what we call the radius, r. And these are the values that basically define the circle, right? They're what we're going to pass into our function when we draw a circle. The center x, the center y, and the radius, and then of course the color. So the lines, the, the points on the circle are just all the points whose distance from the center is equal to the radius, right? And so what about a filled circle? Well, that's quite simple. It's all the points whose distance to the center is less than the radius. So if that distance is less than the radius distance, that means that it must be inside the circle. If the distance is greater than the radius, that means that it's outside the circle. So all we're doing is we're searching for all the points whose distance to the center is less than the radius. So what we can do is we can loop through every pixel on the screen, and for every pixel we check its distance, we compare that with the, uh, the radius, and is it shorter? If it's shorter, we turn it on. If it's not shorter, we leave it alone. So we're going to leave this one alone, we're going to leave this one alone, we're going to leave all these guys alone until we get to here. And then we're going to measure the distance to the center and, oh, it's less than the radius, so we're going to turn this fucker on. Now that works great, but it's a lot of fucking pixels to check the distance for. It's every pixel on the screen, right? Uh, we can do better than that. We know if we draw a simple square around this circle, we know that any pixels outside of this square aren't going to be in the circle, right? Some pixels inside the square will be outside of the circle. Most will be inside the circle. So instead of looping through the entire screen, we can just loop through this square region of the screen and test all the pixels inside here, and it'll be much more efficient. Now, the loop here, it will be easily found. If this is a center X and Y, the start of the loop is just going to be, you know, center x minus radius, right? And again, center y minus radius. So we loop from center x minus radius to center x plus radius. And the same thing down here, center y plus radius. So there we go. We loop through this whole region. And, you know, for every pixel, we're going to measure the distance. We're going to compare that with the, uh, the radius. And if that value is less than the radius, uh, we're going to set it to the color. So the only question remains, how do we actually measure this distance here? One of the hints I mentioned was Pythagoras. And um, you may know Pythagoras from his famous theorem of motherfucking triangles, right? So what he says is, if you got a triangle like this, which is a right angle triangle, 90 degree angle here, uh, you call this A, you call this B, you call this C, well, A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. And you might say, okay, yeah, actually, I know that, Pythagoras theorem, very famous, but, um, chilly, we're, we're talking about radiuses here, we're talking about circles, not triangles. Well, that's where you're wrong. I mean, you're not wrong, but you are wrong. So, look at this, take this line here. Let's draw another line, vertical line, and then another line, let me just change, now the color's fine, another line here, 
the horizontal line. All right. So these lines, this line directly connects the point that we're testing with the center and these two horizontal or vertical and horizontal lines also connect them. Now, this is a right angle triangle. So here, the distance between the point we're testing in the center, that's just our motherfucking C, right? And this one here is the point Y minus the center Y. That's, or it's going to be the center Y minus the point Y, right? Doesn't matter. That distance here is the difference between this Y and this Y. And the distance here is the distance between difference between this X and this X. So we can find this one by subtracting the two X's. We can find this one by subtracting the two Y's. And we can use this theorem to find this guy. So we got our point XY here. We got our center point CX, CY. And then this distance here is going to be X minus CX squared plus Y minus CY squared is equal to distance squared. And if we want to solve for distance, we take the square root of both sides. We get distance is equal to square root of this bullshit. Fairly simple. And if we want to now do our test, we just got to test is distance less than, I do less than or equal to um, radius. And if so, fill in that color. Now, there's one problem here. It's not really a problem, but we can make this better. So to calculate distance, we have to take the square root. But taking the square root is a fucking slow operation. So instead of taking the square root, what we can do is if distance is less than r, we can take this uh, equation, we can square both sides. Distance square must also be less than r squared. So this is saying that basically the same thing. But if we do it this way, we don't have to calculate this square root. We can use this thing directly in here for the d squared not having this calculate the square root is going to make our calculation much faster. So it's a little bit of an optimization there. And if we implement that function, we're going to get something like this. So in game graphics.h, uh, let's see here, we add the, uh, the draw circle function declaration, void draw circle, x, y, these are the center points, the radius and the color. And if we go into graphics.cpp, yeah, let me just move this over here. Here's the actual implementation, and it's quite simple. First thing first, uh, the radius never changes throughout the whole loop. So we calculate this the radius squared at the very beginning. And then we're going to loop through y, and we're going to loop through x. So we're going to start at the center y minus the radius, and the center x minus the radius, which if you were paying attention, that's right here. There's center minus radius minus radius right here that's our start point and we're looping in the y until y plus radius and then the x till x plus radius and for every pixel in that loop first we calculate the x difference which is x minus x loop the y difference is y minus y so here i'm doing center minus um the point x and whereas in this diagram here I did point X minus center, but it doesn't matter which way you do it, whether you subtract this one from this one or this one from this one, because you're squaring it. So even if it comes out negative, square and negative, it becomes positive in the end. So it doesn't matter the order in which you subtract these. Uh, so yeah, subtract these guys ahead of time, and then we find their square, and we check to see if that's less than the uh, radius squared. So that's just, you know, square, calculate the squares, and then that will give you d squared, check if d squared is less than radius squared. And if so, you do the put pixel, and that's it. That's all, that's all there is to it, really. Now I'm going to create a quick branch here. I'm just going to put in some garbage for that. And so ASDF. So we're going to build this. And you see, it runs fine. It draws us a nice circle, but there is one little thing. So the circle is slightly asymmetrical. You can see here it's got at the top and at the left, it's got a little one pixel nipple there. 
and that nipple is because we're running one more we're, we're doing one more pixel on the left side and then we are on the right side so we can either extend the right by one pixel and the bottom by one pixel or we can um, do one less pixel on the top and the left and what i what i opted to do was just to do one less pixel here just just chop those nipples off so here you see this change i made her make circle symmetrical by extending right and bottom loop limits oh did i extend right and bottom did I add extra nipples? I believe I might have, yes, I might have added extra nipples. So now you've got four nipples. You got like a, uh, a total recall situation going there. But anyways, so that is, that's how you draw a circle. It's, I mean, I don't think it's too hard. I don't know. If you think differently, let me know in the comments. But um, I think it's, it's pretty simple if you just think of the definition of a circle, which is all the points that are equidistant from the center. And it just writes itself, a little, little Pythagorean theorem in there. A little Pythagoras never hurt anyone. But yeah, that's circles. Let me know if you had any problems with it or what you think in the comments. Uh, a little note at the end, if you want to try a little, uh, a quick little augmentation to this, you can make it create an annulus, which is basically like a donut, um, where this, this region, a ring, you can also call it a ring, uh, like this by a simple addition um, so if you want to challenge you can uh, try to make one so the it doesn't draw anything inside here it doesn't draw anything outside here so if you want to challenge you can try to make it draw an annulus it's not that hard um, but anyways that was the video hope you liked it and i will see you soon with some more c plus plus